What's going on, y'all? So we are back again for another review of the season finale of Married to Madison season four, episode fourteen. So you guys know it ended last week. First to fucking all, I just see the preview for the um the reunion. Okay, listen, listen, Doctor Jackie. Dr. Jackie said, I feel as though, you know, because Andy was like, this seems like this was the fork in the road for you guys. And Dr. Jackie was like, I feel like, you know, he deserved to be with somebody who makes him happy. Dr. Jackie, what y'all doing? <laughs> what y'all doing? <laughs> really? Oh, no. I just don't know. Y'all know, she, uh, it's like. <sighs> if they are about to get a divorce. They fall right back into the curse of being on a reality show because, you know, it's a lot of couples that get on reality shows and they divorce. You know, they wind up separating and divorcing because, you know, these reality shows are like the hard, cold truth. It puts your truth out there. You got to really look at yourself. Damn. I really hope, you know, fuck. You know, I kind of touched my heart for a second. I like Jackie. Anyway. So we start this episode off where I left off last week with them being at um, Toya's house, housewarming party and, you know, Lisa and Heavenly going back and forth. I really don't feel like recanting the whole thing, but Heavenly was so in her feelings and Heavenly had every right to be in her feelings and she was trying so hard to hold back, you know, you can say whatever the fuck it is that you want and I can't believe that I'm really defending Heavenly, but I probably would have reacted the same way. Lisa, you're lying. Lisa, you're literally sitting there acting as if you did nothing wrong and as if heavenly, like you've been on the up and up this whole time. You were not professional, okay? You've had these conferences before, but Chad, look at what you're doing. I think you got lax because you felt this was your friend. And so therefore you can do whatever and you can pour the wool over her eyes and she caught on to it and she said, no, good girl, it's not going to happen. That's not going to go down. So therefore what I'm going to do is remove myself from this. Now you want to make it seem like she the snake. Baby, you the one that was doing all the stuff. Heavily was trying so hard to not curse that bitch out, but she was getting heated. She was getting so heated to the point when Quad tried to interject and was like, you know, trying to calm things down just a little bit by, you know, breaking it up and, you know, saying maybe we should do this. Here comes Mariah. Why don't you let them talk? Why do you have to talk? Why did you have to open up your mouth when Quad spoke? See, this is what I'm talking about. And I don't give a damn what y'all Mariah stands or whoever it is, you know, oh, you know, maybe you're not seeing it right. Yes, I'm seeing it right. Okay. Mariah could have just sat the fuck back, all right? Why is it when Quad opened up her mouth, you want to say something, okay? Yes, it was between them, but it was getting so heated, somebody had to interject, whether it was Quad, whether it was Dr. Jackie, whether it was Simone. Somebody had to interject, okay? And then you automatically just go there, and I'm just like, this ain't about y'all. Please, stop that shit. Dr. Jackie tried to interject, and then you try to shade Dr. Jackie. Like, come the fuck on, Mariah. You ain't nothing but a shit started to yourself. I don't get why you are back on this show, okay? Did they give you the EP title back again? I mean, we all know that having an EP title don't mean shit. You can have that shit and still get fired from a show from previous examples, all right? So let's, let, let, I don't feel like Mariah needs to be back next year, uh, next season, because for me, she did nothing for me, okay? She was just atmosphere and then just stirring the pot. She was instigating stuff between um, um, Lisa, uh, what's that girl? Lisa Nicole and, and Heavenly and everybody else, her and Quad. We are tired of this fucking issue between you and Quad, okay? Who gives a shit? You don't like the girl. The girl, no, Quad really don't fuck with you. Okay, and I really feel as though the reason why Mariah keep on doing this, either she really trying to stay on this show or she really do want a friendship back with Quad the way that it was. And she just failed to realize that it's not going to be that way. Okay, Quad literally dismisses your ass. But when Quad comes into the room, you act so bothered. Like when they came to the, um, to Jackie's party, you know, for her lookbook reveal, they was waiting on fucking quiet to get there. Her late ass showed the fuck up finally. And here go Mariah. <sighs> it's going to be some stuff go down. <laughs> Girl, shut up. 
Shut up. Why did you have to mention something? I don't care if you're joking or not. Anytime you mention something with quiet, it always makes it seem like you're either bothered when you say you're unbothered or you still harping on this fucking issue. Like, let it the fuck go. I want you to let it the fuck go. I want quiet to let it the fuck go. I do not want none of y'all get that shit out at the reunion, okay? Because the reunion look like it's going to be good. Bitch, did y'all see Dr. Uh, Simone come at Darren? You... I've been married for 10 years. You said you was married for 10 years, but you also said you was cheating for five. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. I said, go off some on. <laughs> Y'all, anyway, fuck all that shit. So, you know, Heavenly was not trying to go there, but, you know, she had to go there. She reverted back to her old self. And in this moment, and because I, I understand it, sometimes when people sit there and try to make you seem stupid, when you're trying to do the mature thing or you're just trying to, you know, put your shit out there and somebody try to sit there and talk to you as if you're stupid, that shit will nag at you because I know I'm the type of person that will make me so pissed off that I will cuss you out down to the last drop of your sweat, okay? I will curse you the fuck out that bad, all right? You know, and she was trying to hold it in, but she couldn't. Dr. Jackie had to interject. It was like, yo, yo, fuck this shit. We gonna have this party. It's my lookbook reveal, okay? Let's just have this event and let it go. Toya had to come in and all this shit. You know, Toya, she messy too, okay? Toya, you kind of start stuff. Toya is Toya is like the main instigator, the main instigator because she the one. We know, we know. They go in there, talk about the house, have a little prayer, whatever. I was like, girl, get a napkin, wipe your face, all that grease and shit. You sweating up there, ain't no air conditioning up in the house. It's hot down in Atlanta, and it be hot in Atlanta. Okay, Dr. Jackie got her new assistant. You know, she's getting the details ready with Keisha for the um lookbook event, all that stuff. Um. What else of importance happened in between that? Um, the scene with Quad and her nephew and um her brother's baby mama. That's the type of quad that I like to see. Okay, that is the quad that I like to see. That nurturing side, that caring side. And, you know, being supportive of her family. I don't need all the theatrics. I don't need all the dramatics or whatever. I just like that side. You know, she was really there having fun with little Mason. You could tell that she likes that little boy. And, you know, the thing is, you can like kids and be cool with kids and kids adapt to you and, you know, just fall in line. But that does not necessarily mean that you are ready for kids or that you want kids personally yourself. Because some people like being around kids, but at the end of the day, I can just drop your ass back onto your mom and I ain't got to deal with you for all day. You know, that type of shit. But, um, I don't know really if Choir really is ready for a child. You know, she says she's not ready to have a baby yet, but I don't know if she really wants to. And I think a little part of her has softened up on the idea of trying to have a child. Just not yet. I don't know when, bitch. She might fuck around and get pregnant. No, no, her, no, she won't. Let me stop. Anyway, so Monica going through the issues, going through the motions with her, um, her baby daddy, his Quad's brother, when they were going down to Mexico, were they in Mexico? Hawaii. <clears throat> when they was going down to Hawaii, they got into it. They got into a big argument to the point that um, her brother went back to Memphis. And she's saying she don't know if she's going to come back. Monica also has a job out there, but she's not really liking it. And she's not liking, you know, really being out there. And I think she's just homesick. And I think she feels as though, you know, this is not where I wanted to be in my life. I have a child and I'm trying to get my life together and it's not going the way that I planned. This is not the way that I've seen things going for myself. And so she was feeling down about herself and she was crying and Kwa was trying to be there. And I, you know, quite be shaded towards her, but seeing that, you know, her embrace her and all that stuff. And it, it was a real touching scene. So I, I really apply her on that child. <sighs> Lisa Nicole and Darren. Lisa Nicole. Hey, babe. How you doing? Hey, babe. How you doing? You all right? Good morning. I'm sitting here like, didn't y'all just see each other? Didn't y'all just see each other? Y'all woke up, right? 
he comes into the bathroom where Shanisa Cole is sitting there, her little vanity or whatever. Did y'all notice that he went in there opening up the drawers and stuff, looking for nothing? <laughs> I said, dude, what the fuck are you doing? He always be so fucking lost. Like, damn, he's a smart, dumb nigga, okay? He is smart from books and all that shit from schooling, but... You know, everything else, he's dumb as fuck. You can't tell me no different, all right? He just gets off, I'm a smart, dumb nigga, okay? He did all that shit. He must have been, he was like, he was just in here like, they told me it was my call time, so I had to come up in here and do this, you know? So I'm just trying to fill up the time. They said, come on up here and film. I really don't got shit to say. <laughs> get out. <laughs> so they get to talking about, you know, situations that happened and, um, the main thing that I want to talk about with them is this baby shit. I'm tired of it. You know, Lisa Nicole, if you do come back next season, please have a different storyline because we're tired of it. We are fucking tired of it. So, Darren is like, you know, Lisa was like, I really want this TV. Like, we really need to get on the same track. And, like, in the next six months, I, like, really want to get pregnant. You know, I'm ovulating and everything. And, you know, do you really want this, Darren? Like, you keep putting it out there and all this stuff. He was like... <laughs> babe so like i feel as though uh the thing that we need to do that's best for you you know um if it don't work is the surrogacy you know i think that's good all right before that he said you know i'm gonna give you like six months and i hope we aren't pregnant <laughs> lisa lisa caught that shit she was like wait a minute hold on did you say we aren't <laughs> if we aren't you hope we aren't uh, scratch that, scratch that. Don't, 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 don't pay no attention to that. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Uh, let's go on. No, it was a twist of my tongue, all right? Twist of my words. I meant R, R. I said, bitch, you've been twisting your words for a lot on this whole season, bitch. Ever since your shit done been put out on blast, okay, from last season and the season before, you've been lying a lot, okay? And you've been twisting your words a fucking lot, okay? I said, you really meant that. That's what you meant, Freudian and Slip, my That's what you meant. Okay, you don't want to get a child, all right? He <laughs> he suggested the surrogacy. He go Lisa Nicole. But my thing with that, don't you know how they have up in the movies and stuff? What if they don't want to give back the baby? You know that? I said that shit probably does happen. But Lisa, shut the fuck up, okay? <laughs> Just realize that your man really don't want no baby with your ass, okay? There you go. I don't even give a shit about them no more. Um... <clears throat> Heavenly go talk to Jewel Tanker about backsliding, okay? You know, Heavenly got it in her mind that she really trying to change, and she really came out her character. Um, she slipped up. She came back and went to the old Heavenly, calling that girl a bitch and everything, you know? Um, and so she feels a little bad about it. Not bad about what she said, but the fact that she's backsliding a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I understand that. I feel that, but girl own that shit and move the fuck on who gives a shit we all human okay uh she took your ass there so you know you get a pass on that from me but my whole issue is she getting canceled from jewel tanker miss jewel tanker i watched your reality show like the first two seasons what it was two three seasons that it was on You've been on the, um, Bravo, getting checks from Bravo for like three seasons. I don't know if y'all coming back for another season or whatever. Um, but y'all been on TV for a couple of seasons or so. Uh, you made a couple of appearances on this show, okay? And you, as you said in your own show, that you make your own money and you have your own money too, you know, outside your husband. Your husband has a whole bunch of money too. My issue with you is... Why is it that every time you want to grace my TV screen, your leave out is running away? Why is it that your wigs look like synthetic mush? Why is it that that Gacky look dirty? I just don't understand. Why, what the fuck is it? Yeah, Gacky looks so raggedy and I'm just confused. Y'all got all the money in the world to get your shit done, okay? And your shit just don't be looking right. Why do y'all do this to yourself? There is no excuse, Joel. Get that shit together before you counsel other people on their shit. Girl, I can't trust nobody in their hair fucked up. Come on now. That's the first thing I notice. I look at your face and I look at your hair. Bitch, what the fuck is wrong? Why is it looking like that? Why your edges ready like that, bitch? Go get some live from the fucking dollar store and um, 
put that shit down. It's better than gel, girl, okay? Because it don't leave that crusty shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially, and if you're going to get gel, don't get the brown gel because that shit just, you know, crust up. And all. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Anyway, moving on from that. Um, What was going on after that? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Simone and her family, they finally, because school coming to an end, they finally get to go back to the South House from the North House or whichever house. They all about to be in the same house instead of just, you know, going back and forth throughout, you know, the year for the kids being in school. I remember somebody, that y'all had a deep ass conversation trying to discuss this lady relationship, talking about some, some name, right? If y'all living in both houses and she over here and she over there. Whatever's working with them is working fine. They're still married. They're still together. So shut the fuck up. Anyway, you know, we all psychologists on here when we be talking about these reality stars and shit like that. I'm I'm one too, so you know, I'm in the same boat with y'all. But hush. <laughs> okay. Um, so they getting ready for Dr. Jackie's event. All the girls show up. Here go um Lisa Nicole. I'm going to show up to Dr. Jackie's event because just like our first lady says, when they go low, we go high. Bitch, shut up before I hit you in your throat. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry because she irks me so much. Girl, y'all were not friends like that, okay? And let me tell you something. It took you to get to Hawaii to actually participate in this lookbook shit because when Dr. Jackie had her then y'all didn't want to participate. You the bang one talking about something. No, I'm not finna show my cleavage and my boobs and all this stuff. When you get on the fucking beach and you put on a fucking bikini that's showing damn near your whole body, but yet you had no issue with that. But when Dr. Jackie asked you to do this lookbook the first time, there was an issue. Hush that shit, okay? Shh. All right? Anyway... Um, <clears throat> child, they had Toy looking like a beach whale with them thighs. Toy got some big ass hips. I ain't mad at you, girl. Um, so they doing all that shit. Everybody get there. Mariah shows up. Simone, no, Toy was talking to her about that goddamn boot. And I said, thank you, Lord, that you came up and somebody said it. Because I was sitting here like, at one point, I saw her walking without the boot on. One of these episodes in the season, and it wasn't just in her her place or whatever. She was really walking without the boot. And then all of a sudden, for a while, okay, then she get the boot again. And it's like you're bringing attention. You want the boot off, but then you're bringing attention to it by decorating it and, you know, making it look uglier than it already is. You just look so fucking tacky, bitch. I just want to say that. Um, moving on from that, uh, what else wind up happening? They wake no quiet. Um, Dr. Jackie goes over there, tell all of them, listen, when Quiet finally do show up, I think, she just said, please, this, this event is for everybody. This event is for women who have survived breast cancer, who probably are going through it. I have a lot of people invited here. Please, whatever issue that you have with one another, can you just put that on hold for today? Okay, just do that. Child, they in there talking, then all of a sudden, here comes Cecil, to Simone, Dr. Sim Simone, they said they need a, um, they need an ambulance outside. It's an ambulance pulling up. Somebody need an ambulance. I heard the ambulance and who come rolling up in the ambulance? Child, they are loading, getting heavily out the ambulance on the stretcher. She's not doing nothing. And I really, you know, they really played us because I really thought something happened when we was looking at the previews. I thought something happened to Heavily. No, this bitch talking about some. No, no. They, she wouldn't wake up until Damon kissed her. And was just like, Dr. Jackie, I was just trying to tell you that all you need is love. You know, Curtis was there with you when you went through both bouts of your breast cancer and all that shit. I was with Toya and Eugene when they said that was a lame ass fucking joke or, you know, it fizzled. Okay, girl. <laughs> What the fuck ever. It was cute for what it was or whatever you thought it was going to be. But Dr. Uh, Heavenly, you dramatic as fuck for that. But it is funny. Whatever. So, after that, um, I asked Toy and them and I think even Simone, they even mentioned some shit about how it's just crazy how the um, relationships between the women are changing. And uh, it's not really that much of a sisterhood because at this moment in time, Dr. Heavily goes over there to um, Lisa, and she said, you know, after everything that went on, 
I was thinking about it. I was talking it over with, um, you know, Jewel, with uh, my husband. And, you know, I just come to the consensus and the conclusion that I cannot be friends with somebody that I don't trust. And therefore, I can't be your friend right now because I don't fully trust you. And if I don't trust you, what's the point? And I was 100% here for Dr. Heavenly going up to Lisa Nicole as a grown-ass mature woman respectfully and telling her that to her face instead of talking shit behind her back, instead of sending her a text message and then still talking shit behind her back. But the shit ain't over with because, you know, they probably still going to be talking shit behind her back or talking shit and then leading this girl on thinking that they really going to be cool and they, there's no hope for them to be cool at this moment. I respect her for respectfully coming to her and saying that. Um, you know, and so here is Lisa Nicole. I don't know why. <laughs> You want to do this to me? Like, I never did anything to Dr. Emily. <laughs> really? You still didn't get where she was coming from after all of this. After all of this. Heavenly had every right to feel the way that she felt. And that is her right. You know, you go up to Toya, you tell her that you're not friends no more, you're crying about it. You say, you know, you're you're not bothered by it, it's okay. Toya's like, you know, we supposed to you're not supposed to let um uh in a friendship over business or some shit like that. You can't allow that. First of all, you can't allow that. Child, you can't force somebody to be friends with you. And that's what I don't understand when I be watching these reality shows. How you get upset that somebody don't want to be friends with you when it's their right to get... <laughs> You can't get upset at that. Everybody's not going to like you. Like, I be looking at Vanderpump Rules, okay? Ariana and Stassi. Stassi is a bitch, okay? Stassi, Christian, and Katie. They're bitches, all right? They're mean girls, okay? If you don't agree with them, you're 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 going against them, even if you're cool with them. You can't have your own brain. Now, Ariana don't give a fuck about Stassi. She in her feelings because she said she don't like her, and she don't like the way that she said it. Bitch, everybody ain't gonna fucking like you, okay? Get the fuck over it. Toya, like, you know, she thinking it's some hope for them. And Toya came to the conclusion that, like, the common denominator when all these shit that be happening is Lisa Nicole and her. You know, you have to look at your own truth. She don't want to face her truth and she don't want to face the shit that's going on in her marriage and everything else and her relationships and all that shit. So what they need to do is go work on them. And I agree with that shit. Lisa Nicole had the nerve to say Darren was there. And guess what? We are married and we are happy. No, baby, y'all not happy. Y'all content. Two different words, two different meanings, okay? Um, And you're settling and he's settling too because he's still out there doing the fuck what he's going to do, okay? Moving on from that, we went on ahead and do the lookbook. That, that, that car that Curtis, um, drove up in, that shit was fly. I said, all right, come on, Curtis, you trying to win me back, you know, if, ever so little, okay, um, with his big ass. Nigga, can you imagine fucking a nigga that tall, that big, like, when you height, you get height on you, you wait a little bit more because of your height. God damn, Dr. Jackie, I applaud you. You like adventure. You take risks, bitch. Because, woo-hoo! And don't let them have a curve. Anyway, so she was revealing the lookbook and talking about this picture when they was all in uh, Hawaii. They're going to call them breast friends and stuff like that. And she reveals um the original pictures that they took at the original um, photo shoot. <clears throat> and she did quads. Quad looked real cute in that picture. Toya looked real nice in her picture. Bitch, when they revealed Dr. Heavenly, Dr. Heavenly looked like she was in Black Tails Magazine or some shit like that. Black buns. I said, come on, Dr. Heavenly. She was like, bitch, is that me? I said, that's you. Airbrushed and all. It's you, bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do your thing. I can't hate. Um... And then, you know, Dr. Jackie, she was just nervous the whole time about revealing this to the world and not only to the world, but to her husband and seeing how he would react. And when she revealed her picture, she was like serving face and shit, little boo, side boo bitch and shit like that. I said, come on, Dr. Jackie, be cleaning your skin. Okay, you better be comfortable in that shit. Show that shit off. And he was all here for it, clapping, and he came over there, gave her a kiss. I was like, oh, this is what I want to see. So I'm a little confused as to what happened from then to the reunion. Y'all better not be getting a no divorce, bitch. Anyway, that was Married to Medicine. I will see you guys later. Tell me how you feel. Peace out.